you literally were like, oh, is it her turn to record an episode? I better fill it with a bunch of nonsense. She's going to have to edit it out. Fuck you, Nikki. Forever. Why would you edit it out? Why would because you Because it's trash. It? Try to edit out as much of you as possible. Believe. Whew. I I don't have to believe. I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, where was that thing that I said? It's gone. Last week. It's gone. Didn't fit with the flow of what I was saying. <laughs> Guess you better go find that footage and release your own video, bitch. Welcome to What the Sweet Fuck. This is a show where we talk about all, all things, things fuckworthy. Fuck I'm Megan Tanja. And I'm Nicole Lafoti. And you're so blessed. for this week, baby. So what a is uh, going national. I've never tried it, but whenever there's a conversation about the best burgers, like from a fast food place, mm -hmm. people say what a burger. And I think people from Texas or from the South call it what a burger. Let us know in the comments, what is your favorite fast food burger? Mine, the top of my list is Shake Shack. Oh, I'm going Big Mac all day. Mm. I am here for children that can't spell <laughs> every week. Every week I'm here for children that can't spell. It's funny, it's great. Piano. I love it. I love it so. No. No. Learn how to pick your ass up and move the fucking chair. At, I got rid of the squeaky chair. Foot. I threw the squeaky chair away because someone couldn't stop. And now you have the one chair. You know, what are we doing? Grandma shark do 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 do. Grandma shark. My grandmother is dead. So is yours. So let's keep it together, okay? What are you here for? Oh, God. What do you mean, what am I here for? I just told you what I'm here for. <laughs> that was my here for it. See, it's under here for it on the folder. Here for it. You know what's funny? It's no. <laughs> tell me. Uh, you're really good at telling me what's funny and what's wrong. Nothing, I just got a day off. You every Coffee. You, day off. Your whole life. Day, day off? Did I say day off? You did. Oh my god, day old. You're <laughs> what's wrong with me? Nikki, wake up. really into the goss, you know? Into, okay. Into the gossip. Give but, me the hot goss. But I like to like look. And so She dabbles in goss. So if you don't know this, uh Diddy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, whatever name we're going by this this year, this week, this mm -hmm. month. Him and Cassie were together for a long time. Him and Cassie broke up eight about eight months ago. She started dating someone new, guess what? Knocked up. Having a baby. And amongst this, obviously, lots of people were like, oh, she wasted her 20s. She did not waste her 20s. She did exactly what she needed to do so that in her 30s, she could go off and find who she needed to be with. She had a blast it. during her 20s. Let she me did. assure you. I mean, you. maybe she didn't because there are clips, obviously, coming out from Diddy, about Diddy, interviews that Diddy's done, talking about who he is in a relationship. He basically has the 75-25 rule. That I oh think... no! I thought I thought that's what was your story. That no. I didn't know there was going to be more. That was, that was backstory. So here's a breakdown of the 75-25 rule from Diddy. I'm in a relationship with you, like, like, 25% of your time, you're gonna just like feel like, oh man, I hate being here. Oh man, I hate this guy. Oh man, oh man, he cheated on me. He lied on me. Ah, that's 25%. You know what I'm saying? But then there's 75%. I'm gonna make you the happiest woman in the whole wide world. That's not how. I'm gonna be there to support your dreams. I'm gonna be there to hold you, listen to you. I'm gonna be there to be your best friend. That's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. First of all, him saying this in front of his son that he had with a woman he was cheating on is just next level happy Father's Day. 25% of the time you're gonna be miserable. I'm gonna be cheating on you. I'm gonna be lying to you and about you. But 75% of the time, you know, the time when you want to heal and like not be around me, I'm going to smother you with love. That's the trade-off. <sighs> Just a quarter of my time being an asshole to you. That's What's 25% of a week? You didn't even know how to ask What's 25% of a week? Like, so you're spending a day point something, mm. then the other five point something days, everything's See, you're good. See, getting, you're getting too far into the idea. You're... We're, we're in a math equation right now that I don't like. Here's, we started with math. We did. We started with fuckboy math. Mm. Okay? No, bitch. If you cheat on me and you lie to me, the other 75% is not just open to be, like, loved. I don't want... I, I'm thinking about the 25%. You know what I want to know? What he feels about the girl. Oh, well, he does go into that and he... he 
they basically ask him like, how oh, she needs you, to be a hundred percent. How would you feel if it were the same? And he's like, well, you know, everyone's got 25% of their bullshit. And they're like, but as far as cheating, he's like, oh, I didn't say, I didn't say as much of that. So he's not here for another girl to sleep around with other people or to cheat or to any of that stuff. But, you know, I'm sure what he means is that like, sometimes they're just really stubborn on like where they want to eat. Like, you know, sometimes they're just in a mood about something like that. I imagine that's what his 25% leeway is. You know, sometimes they don't want to fuck. Everyone comes to a relationship with their own bullshit. How do you convince yourself that you make any type of sense when you say this shit out loud. There are a lot of men that would be like, yeah, that makes sense to me. Well, you of know Of course what? I can cheat on her, but no, she can't. Her's another dick. Well, it's okay because you know what? She is 100% happy now without you. So there's some math on that ass. We love math. Love it. It's my favorite. <sighs> just no, just N-O. Yeah. All the way. I, I don't, don't even I don't even give you five percent of my anything. It's zero one hundred? Zero one hundred. One hundred percent bullshit. That's the way I like it. This is me just, you know, securing my date with my new man after I break <laughs> up with Diddy. This is me trying to do that math in my head. <laughs> Don't wait Pythagorean theorem on this. What the fuck? Uh, I hope this woman knows what an icon she is. She really is. Like, I just hope, like, do you ever think about the people who are memes and you're like, I hope they know they're appreciated. Well, I try not to because that makes me feel bad. <laughs> I mean, you know, some of the funniest memes are from the, some of the worst moments in people's days. If something happens to me and it's awful, but it's hilarious too. I'm into it. Make it a meme. Make it a meme. Meme me. Meme me. <laughs> Remember when everyone used to think it was pronounced meme me? No one thought that. You Remember. probably also think it's Jif. It's not. It's Gif. Oh, fuck that. Jif is peanut butter. You know what is as creamy as peanut butter? Hmm. What's as creamy? These babies. <laughs> but we want to give a shout out to Joan. Who's really showing up, showing out. Margo knows. Margo's all about Joan. Joan, I was trying to give you love and Nikki keeps fucking it up. So what I want to say is that you're kind of like Joan, Joan of Arc, Joan Jet, but like one that has a credit card. And for that, we appreciate you. Thank you so much to Shannon Lemon for supporting What the Sweet Fuck. We love you, babe. Elijah Lenahan, because of your support this month, I can afford the $20 uh, standing desk for my real desk. Desks on desks. Shout out to you. Jeremy Shaw, Shank. Redemption. This very clean, pristine. Pussy. Heather, snitch. Shut the fuck up, fair loydies. Look, we're here. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop. Tell Heather you love her. Tell Heather you love her. I love you. Thank you, Satan, for supporting with a sweet foot. We're about to start a prayer circle for you. I hate you so much. We want to give a to Sammy Sue. Sammy Sosa Sue. DeVince Aborado. DeVince, I want you to paint the top of the Sistine Chapel. Chapel? Chapel, Michigan. Lawrence Colden. Coldone. Lawrence Colden Coldone. Lawrence Cold Heart Warm Hands Coldone. Sebastian Whitaker. Sebastian, I want to I want to read poetry into your ear while you're bathing, Whitaker. Martine Hubert. I want a little Martine. Little, little glass of martine. Oh. Why it eaten? Why why it eaten? <laughs> Where it eaten? Where it eaten? Roberto, how, how it eaten? <laughs> Roberto XS. Roberto three XL XS. Uh, AJ Avicia. AJ, I don't know if you have heard about grain free dog food, but it is good for allergies. Avicia. <laughs> Blessed. Tamra Moongraves. Tamra, the only bitch that cares about Moongraves. Sam Brodor. Sam is too much Brodor. Chris Maben. Chris Maben, the love of my life. MK Zavader. MK Twitch Bitch Zavader. Evan Blue. Evan So Blue without you. Stephanie. Stephanie. Chelsea Strong. Chelsea Strong, I'm the way to my heart. Pam Gallegos. Pam, I want to tell you about the Lord, your Lord, your Lord, and my Lord as well. Jesus Christ, our Savior. Gallegos. <laughs> and William Harvey. And William, say no shit. Take no shit, Harvey. We also want to give a thank you to all the BBs here on the screen. The BBs you don't see who are ghost BBs. You can become one if you wish at patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. That's Boo. the fastest I've ever talked. Boo, I love it. Without making mistakes. Yeah, maybe that's the way you should do it because when you talk slower or normal, you fuck up all the time. So 